Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of e raised to x over the square root of e raised to 2x plus 9 dx. So we actually have here integral yielding inverse hyperbolic functions. So here are the formula that we will use when we are evaluating integrals yielding inverse hyperbolic functions. So we just need to memorize them. So going back to our problem, before we can apply this form of the integrals, we can apply u substitution first. So if I let u be equal to e raised to x, because I can rewrite this first as e raised to x over the square root of this e raised to 2x can be written as e raised to x squared by law of exponent, then plus 9 dx. So if we let u be equal to e raised to x, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, it's du, derivative of e raised to x, it's the same as e raised to x dx, we will have this term on the original integral, e raised to x dx, which is now equal to du. If we substitute, we will have the integral of, so this e raised to x dx is equal to du all over the square root of this e raised to x is equal to u. Then we have a square plus 9. So we resemble this form of the integral that is integral of 1 over the square root of u square plus a square du is equal to arc sinh of u over a plus c, wherein we still have the same u, and then if we equate the a square to 9, we can have 9 as 3 square, therefore a should be equal to 3. So if we evaluate this integral, it's simply equal to arc sinh of u over a, let's substitute the u, the original u is equal to e raised to x, and then this a, it's equal to 3. So we have arc sin, sorry, this should be arc sin inverse hyperbolic sine of e raised to x over 3 plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of 1 over x square root of ln x quantity squared minus 4 dx. Again, let's apply u substitution first. So if we let u be equal to the ln x, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x dx. Notice we have created this term 1 over x dx on the original integral, which is now equal to du. If we substitute, we will have, so let's start with 1 over x dx, which is equal to du, then all over the square root of ln x, which is u, then we square it, minus 4. So notice we have resembled this form of the integral, so it will yield arc, cosh. So if we pattern... In the formula above, the integral of 1 over the square root of u square minus a square du, we can have the same u. And then if we equate this a square to 4, I can write 4 as 2 square, right? So therefore, we have a is equal to 2. And the value of this integral is simply r cosh of u over a plus c, this one. So therefore, if we evaluate this, we will have r cosh of u over a, if we substitute the u, that's equal to ln x, then over a, which is 2. So we have r cosh of ln x over 2, then don't forget the plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of 3x squared over 25 minus x to the 6 dx. So, if we rewrite first the integral as 3x squared over 25 minus, so this x to the 6, I can rewrite this as x cubed quantity squared 
by loss of exponents. And from this form now, I can let u be equal to x cubed. Getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of x cubed by power rule, that will be 3x squared dx. Notice that we have created this term, 3x squared dx on the original integral, which is now equal to du. If we substitute, we will have this 3x squared dx, which is du now, over 25 minus this x squared, which is equal to u, then there's a square. So it resembles this form of the integral. So we will have the integral of 1 over a square minus u square du. So if we pattern on the given problem, we can have the same u. For a square, if we equate this to 25, we can write 25 as 5 square, right? So therefore, our a here is 5. So if we evaluate the integral of du over 25 minus u square, we apply this formula. So for the first one, we have two cases. It's equal to 1 over a arctanch of u over a plus c if absolute value of u is less than a. So if we substitute here, we have 1 over a, which is 5, arctanch of u, u we have, it's equal to x cubed over a, which is 5 again, plus c. So this is one of the answers. If the condition is the absolute value of u, which is, that's again x cubed. So if the absolute value of x cubed is less than the a, which is 5. We also have the second one, which is equal to 1 over a r cos of u over a plus c if this time absolute value of u is greater than a absolute value of u is greater than a if we substitute we will have 1 over a but a again that's equal to 5 and then r cos of u which is again equal to x cubed over a which is 5 plus c this time, if the absolute value of u or the x cube is greater than a, which is also 5. So, we have two forms of the answers. Okay, so now it's your turn. So, try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.